again, two Arkansas weather experts have teamed up to start a new nonprofit called Arkansas Storm Recovery. It's a way to bring communities help in their most vulnerable times after severe weather strikes. Today, I caught up with Zachary Hall, Arkansas Storm Chaser, who explained the why behind the nonprofit. Born and raised in Arkansas, Zachary Hall has seen it all when it comes to weather. Tracking storms in his home state is his passion. I've always been a huge weather nerd. I have a huge passion for weather. I was born here, raised here, I live here, and I want to help Arkansans in any way I can. And if that means not only preparing them, but helping them after the fact, then I'm all for it. Hall travels all around the state and to nearby states as well when severe weather strikes. And he tells me a recent tragedy in a neighboring state left him and a meteorologist in northwest Arkansas, Garrett Lewis, wanting to do more for communities. I witnessed the rolling Fort Mississippi tornado last year in person and saw how much devastation it did. And then we had the tornadoes in northern Arkansas in May. Over 20 lives were claimed during that tornado in the small town of Rolling Fork, Mississippi, and 10 in the recent tornado outbreak in Arkansas. Hall saw firsthand how the March 31st tornadoes in both central Arkansas and Wynn devastated local communities. Me and Garrett are really good friends, and Garrett brought to me this idea um, about a recovery program or something, a nonprofit that we could do here in Arkansas specifically because we're both from here. And when he said that, I mean, I was all over it. Now they have created a nonprofit organization called Arkansas Storm Recovery. Sometimes uh, we, when we have weather-related disasters, sometimes people really don't know where to go or what to do. And we do have some great resources already in place. But me and Garrett just wanted to add to that bundle of resources that people can go to, whether it's getting people school supplies for their children or getting people an avenue on how to get their homes rebuilt. Hall said they are now collecting donations for school supplies for kids in Rogers that were impacted by the tornado in May. They're holding an event called Rogers Rail Yard Ride for Kids next Saturday at 7.15 in the morning.